Now shocking new details on a state lawmaker's husband's trouble with the law. We told you back in March when Henry Falella was accused of making purchases on a credit card that he stole out of a mailbox. Today, he was indicted on those charges and accused of a new crime, fraudulently collecting tens of thousands of dollars in Social Security benefits. Iowa News News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live in Johnston with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. Well, three months after Henry Falella was released from federal prison, investigators say he claimed to be homeless and received more than $58,000 in Social Security benefits, except investigators say he wasn't homeless. Instead, he was living in his Johnston home. In trouble with the law again. Eyewitness News cameras were rolling as probation officers left Henry Falella's Johnston home Friday afternoon. The 55-year-old husband of state rep Deborah Falella faces charges of identity theft, credit card theft, and social security fraud. Mr. Falella, do you have a minute? We tried to talk to Falella, but through a closed door, he told us he was, quote, all set. According to the federal indictment, investigations determined that from March of 2004 to June of 2012, Falella alleged allegedly claimed he was homeless and didn't live anywhere permanently. He received $58,207 in supplementary security benefits. But the indictment alleges that, in fact, Falella was living with his wife and four children in their Johnston residence. Federal prosecutors also claim Falella stole the identity of a Smithfield resident and used that person's identity and credit card in 2010 to buy $3,000 worth of electronic goods and clothing. And back in March, Falella was arrested by state police and charged with using a stolen credit card where he allegedly racked up charges at Shell gas stations along the East Coast. Now in court today, Falella pleaded not guilty. He was ordered to home confinement with an electronic monitoring device. Now, if convicted, he could face up to 37 years in prison and several fines. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.